Aerotronics is a company that develops and produces commercial drones. We believe in a fully automated drone workflow to enable safer inspection of cell towers, high power lines, wind turbines, and on the end acquire a higher quality of data, which was manually done before. Many people die inspecting cell towers yearly, and uh, what we've identified is that a drone is, is a good replacement to do a first visual checkup of the cell tower itself to identify objects that are on the mast, to see what the maintenance status is of, of the objects on the mast and eventually document them automatically. We were now developing uh, the Oki, it's the code name of the project and uh, it's, it's a camera which has a, a visual uh, daylight camera and a thermal camera. Inside we also have the new TX1 module from uh, NVIDIA which can be used to gather the data streams of the cameras and process it in the way a customer wants. In big windmill rigs they use a thermal camera to find somewhere where friction is too high so when a bearing is wore down or something hits something else it will uh, generate friction and it will generate heat and then it will be easy to spot with a thermal camera where you cannot easily see it with a visual camera. We've been using before FPG technology, that is a deterministic, really good technology, but really difficult to modify. NVIDIA come with a solution uh, that is really appealing for uh, drone market. A small powerful GPU that has the size of a credit card. It's fundamental for mechanical restriction that a drone uh, application has. And uh, the efficiency of battery and uh, power consumption are fundamental in such tasks. Currently, we are using the Jetson as the brain of the visible uh, sensor. But in the future, we are thinking to use as a, the skilled pilot that can drive autonomously the vehicle. Deep learning is a new branch, research branch for aerial electronics. We can take ad advantage of uh, GPU and uh, is real-time processing in a mission such as uh, uh, inspection of uh, cell tower or windmill, where we can uh, customize algorithm in order to facilitate the routine task of the operator. GPU technology uh, enables us to do uh, different stuff with uh, the drone, so we use uh, the GPU to um, do image processing and we can use that to either use the input of the camera to control the drone or we can use the GPU to smooth your operation and only get the data you need so then you can train the camera to only focus on rust spots or a thermal signature you want to track down and you can fly and then when it sees that signature it would recognize that from the data bank and then you can send those pictures back to your service engineer. Working with NVIDIA allows us basically to accomplish our end goal, creating a drone which is way smarter than they are today. By having the Jetson on board our system allows us to be more flexible, adapt to different markets and come up with a better end-to-end -end solution for our end users.